Welcome to my craft table. Hi guys, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to my craft table. Today I'd like to show you how I made this little tree pot and an embellishment for a card and then we'll go ahead and make a card with it. I haven't made one as yet, but let's get started. So I'm going to be using Perfectly Plaid. I'm going to be using these two stamps. And then I've taken the Christmas cheer part off of this sentiment. I have die cut a piece of pear pizzazz with the largest of the stitched circles. I have a scrap of um, a piece of the designer. Um, this is the brightly gleaming designer series paper. Just a little scrap of it. I have a piece of whisper white to stamp on. I have another scrap of the perfectly plaid. I have a piece of whisper white. I think it's a half an inch. It's just a out of my scrap bin half an inch strip to stamp my sentiment on. I have a little tiny scrap of copper which is three eighths of an inch by two and a half inches. I have this piece of designer series paper. I cut it down to the four inch and then I cut the bottom off to make it five and a quarter inches. I'm going to be using this piece as well. I have a piece of Knight of Navy, which is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Then I have my card base, which is my standard five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. Okay, so I might as well go ahead and adhere this to the front of this card. Get it on there and out of my way. This is just going to have an eighth of an inch border all the way around it. Okay, we'll set that aside. And this piece here will get mounted on top of that. Let's go ahead and do that. and set this aside for now. I'm going to set these pieces aside and bring in that little piece of the um, Whisper White and I'm going to stamp my tree. Let me show you how I did that. Um, I'm going to be using the Memento and Garden Green. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the um, inside leaf portion first with the garden green. You can do it either way. I just found this easier. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in the outside of the leaves and the stem and the memento black. And this way I can sort of see through it. This ink pad needs re inking. So I can see where to stamp. It's not perfect, that's fine too. Pretty good. Done with the memento. Alright, the garden green, I'm going to bring in this little strip here 
and you'll see I did stamp surgery I just cut the part of the sentiment off you can just do it masking or coloring it with your Stampin' Right markers I just find it easier to do it this way I'll just kind of center it on there and stamp perfect okay so we're done with the stamping ink away. Alright, now we're going to bring in our punches. I have Pine Tree Punch and I have the Cake Builder Punch. Okay, so let's first cut out our pine tree. Slide it in. Get it where we need it. it out. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to make the pot. And now for the pot, we're going to take the cake builder punch and we're going to use the cake part. We're going to take our paper in there and I want a little bit of this gold on there. So I'm going to move it down like that. You could turn it, you know, so the pot sideways like that, but doesn't really matter. Punch it. Okay. Now we're going to take this top part, the part that's wider, and we're going to fold it down in half. You could score it if you want. I didn't find it necessary. I just kind of tucked it a little bit and folded it down. Now you could leave it at that since it's double sided paper. I did take a glue dot, and stuck a glue dot on there, so when I fold it over it stays down. But I kind of wanted a little bit more um, metallic on there, so that's where those little scraps of the brightly gleaming paper comes in, because it's got that foiling on it. So I just took that little strip and it is a quarter of an inch. It's just a scrap that was sitting on my desk. When I put it on there, I'm going to wrap it around the back like that. So I'm going to just put a glue dot on the each end. You could use wet glue. Just found the glue dot easier. Okay. Place that on the top of your pot. I suppose you could have just cut that part off instead of folding it over, but it adds a little bit of dimension or depth to it. Alright, fold that one over. Okay, and there's our pot. So that's going to get glued to the bottom of our tree, like that. So let's just add a little glue to the stem of the tree. These will also make really cute hats you know, for snowman hats or critter hats. Okay, glue that to the tree. And we're going to turn it over and we're going to put dimensionals on the back. I'm going to put one right over the foot of that so that it holds it together. don't need as many as I'm putting it just want it to hold together so okay I'll place this aside now we're going to bring in my card base and I'm going to figure out I want the sentiment to be down here like that I'm going to put this strip which is the other side of this one here below it like that. Maybe all the way across. I think I just want it like that. And this little copper piece could be gold, it could be anything. I just had it on my desk so I figured I'd try to use it. It's going to go there like that. So I'm going to have the three different links there. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this piece down. Oops. And it's basically an equal distance on all three sides there. Okay, let's glue this one down here. on that paper to see if it's straight. Let's glue this one here. Okay, and I think I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of the sentiment strip. Okay, I guess I didn't need that last one after all. Let's turn it over. Bring in our snips. Trim this off right next to the card. Okay. Let's bring in our tree. Take those backs off the dimensionals. Stick your finger on them and poke that. Pop that paper up. That's going to go right centered on top of this circle. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in a star. And again, I didn't get the, there's several stars you could use. There's the star embellishments. There's also the stars in here. Where is it? On. Of course, I should have looked this up prior to getting on here, but there's the star dies. You know what comes in a bundle, so it should be in this front here. Okay, this one else. Of course, I missed it. Because I'm looking for it. Of course, you can't find it in a hurry. Okay, I found it. It's on page 10 and 11 on the um, holiday mini catalog. And the dies, there's all these different sizes of stars. All different sizes, so you could cut them out of there. Um, there's also the embellishments. Um, unfortunately, I have limited funds this time around, so I had to use what I have. So I have these little stickers that I bought at Joann's and I'm going to take one of those and a mini dimensional put the mini dimensional on the back that's going to go on the top of my tree There's also some smaller stars on here. I'm going to go ahead and use a couple others. Stick one there. I think I'll put one over here. Should I put it up here? Oh, let's put it right there. There we go. And there's our card we created today. Just wanted to show you how to make this little pod. It's kind of cute. Well, thanks for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day.